Now in this particular example, I'm asked to find the term in x to the power 5 in the expansion of 5 minus 2x all to the power 8. Now what I could do is expand this every term and then select the term in x to the power 5. But that's going to be a lot of work and really totally unnecessary. What we should be able to do is go straight to that particular term. And that's what I'm going to show you how we do it in this tutorial. So start off first of all by writing down an introduction and that will be the term in x to the 5 equals. Now when I compare the binomial expansion formula for a positive integer value n, which in this particular example is 8, what I notice is that the a part is the 5 and the b part is minus 2x. So if I'm looking for a term in x to the power 5, then I must make sure that the b part, minus 2x, is raised to the power 5, because this will give me x to the power 5. What I need to do next is know what power the a part is raised to, and the a part is the 5. So I'll put the 5 down here, because every term has an a part times a b part in. So put the 5 down. What power has this got to be? Well, when I look at the formula, notice how the sum of the powers on the a and the b in each term total n. n plus 0 is n. n minus 1 plus 1 is n. n minus 2 plus 2 is n, and so on. 0 plus n is n. So that means that the power above the 5 must be something that totals the 8. So it's got to be 3. All we now need to do is just simply put in the ncr value. We know what the n will be. It will be the same as the power here. So that will be 8c, something or other. What is this value that's got to go down here? Well, when we look at all the nc values in the binomial expansion, what you should notice is that the number down here is always the same as the number that the b part is raised to. 2 here, 2, n, n, 1, 1, and so on, 0, 0. So in other words, looking at this, the b part, minus 2x, is raised to the power 5, so I've got to put a 5 down there. And that will give me the term in x to the 5. All that I need to do now is just simply work it out. And you can do this on any calculator. You'll find that 8c5 is 56, and 5 cubed is 125, and minus 2x to the power 5 is minus 32x to the power 5. Put that all together and you should find you get 224000x to the power 5. So that's your term in x to the power 5 without having to resort to the full expansion. Sometimes you're asked to find a coefficient and here's another example. Find the coefficient of 1 over x cubed in the expansion of 2 minus 3 over 2x all to the power 7. Now a coefficient is a value in front of a particular term. Like for instance in this example above here the coefficient in the term x to the 5 is the number 224000. So if I'm to do this particular question what I need to do is examine first of all the term in 1 over x cubed. So I'll start off by putting that as my intro and that will be the term in 1 over x cubed. And following the same reasoning as we did in this last part the term in 1 over x cubed would be something where the b part 
is going to be cubed. So that would be minus 3 over 2x all to the power 3. This will give us a term in 1 over x cubed. The a part in this example is the 2. So put the 2 down here. And we have to ask ourselves, what power do we raise 2 to? And that will be a number such that 3 plus something or other gives the 7 here. So clearly that's got to be 4. Then we need the NC value, the NCR value. The N would be 7 because that's the power on the bracket. So that's 7C. And remember, the number that goes here is the same as the power that the B part is raised to. So in this example, it would be 3. So if we work this out, this would give the term in 1 over x cubed. Now 7C3, do it on a calculator, turns out to be 35. 2 to the 4 is 16. And this particular part here turns out to be minus 27 over 8x cubed. Multiplying that all together, you'll find you get 1890 over x cubed. So therefore, the coefficient of 1 over x cubed is the number that we multiply 1 over x cubed by. And in this particular example, it is minus 1890. So to finish this off then, we'll just write that in. We'll scroll up there. So therefore, the coefficient okay, of 1 over x cubed is equal to minus 1890. And so, here we have then two examples, one in finding a term and the other in finding a coefficient. And so hopefully you should be able to model any question that you're given on one or other of these examples.